Hi, I'm Neil Gard. I'm a professor in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, and I'm also the current chair of the department. I want to begin just by saying congratulations to all the graduates in the class of 2020, and I'd like to welcome you all to our virtual commencement celebration event. Hi everyone, my name is Patrick Henry, and I'm Vice Chair for Graduate Education in the department. It's been a remarkable year for all of us, that's for sure. But I'm delighted today to celebrate uh, two of our students being granted the master's degree and 30 of our students being uh, awarded the doctorate. Normally we do this in what we call a, a hooding ceremony, which welcomes you into the fraternity of advanced degree holders. And we signify that by putting this wonderful, uh, wonderfully colorful hood around you. Normally your PhD mentor does that. Uh, we can't do that today, uh, but in lieu of that, we've set it up so that each PhD mentor says a few things about the students uh, in a short video. And we really hope you like this. So here it goes. Hey, Gary Chen, congratulations for graduation as a master in chemistry. It's really a pressure for me to have you in the lab for a little over a year. I really appreciate that you retooled our potential stat using MATLAB programming. I'm really proud of you. Again, congratulations for your graduation and best wishes for your future career. Greg Schutt is a department scholar who is completing his master's studies at UCLA. He's worked in my lab for the past year, helping us develop new algorithms for machine learning that are ultimately going to be used in parallel distributed architectures. Conventional machine learning methods are not easily parallelizable, but in this case, Greg has been developing new second-order optimizers and hierarchical training methods that are inherently parallel. He quickly learned to write Python code and optimizers for PyTorch and wrote on his own CUDA implementations of our algorithms that are currently being tested right now. He works efficiently and well, co-authored a publication already, and is going to write two more papers as first author, which is remarkable for an undergraduate during one year. On top of his courses and getting high grades, he received multiple offers from top universities. I wish him good luck and congratulations for his accomplishments. Congratulations to Stephanie on completion of an excellent thesis and your work on perfluorophenyl azide chemistry, making membranes, and all sorts of other interesting materials. Also, congratulations on winning the UCLA Chemist Association Dissertation Award in Inorganic Chemistry. It's time to move the tassel to the other side. Oh, I guess I was supposed to wear the other hat. So here it is. Congratulations again. Congratulations to Tori Basili on her PhD in Materials Chemistry. Tori's thesis work is a beautiful combination of fundamental and practical research, focusing on how to make lithium ion batteries charge faster. While the scientific impact of her work is clear, Tori is also in the unique position to make a real technological impact with her thesis work. In addition to her beautiful science, Tori has also volunteered her time to help teach science to a broad range of students in the greater LA area through her efforts in science outreach. Thank you, Tori, for all you've done during your time here at UCLA. Congratulations, Dr. Danny Berman. It has been a great pleasure working with you. Your research on pulse carbon nanostructures opens new horizon in electrode architecture design. It will help the development of a new generation of batteries and supercapacitors that can be charged faster and last longer. I would also like to take this chance to thank you for being the safety officer to help keep our lab safe and in order. Thank you and congratulations again. And this is Catherine Bay and her dog Bugsy. Kat has been a grad student in my group for the last four years. She's become a master of quantum mechanical investigation of organometallic reaction mechanisms. She's been amazingly productive with seven publications so far and three more in review. She was an NSF Center for CH Functionalization participant and a leader of their leadership council. She also did a summer internship at Nagoya University in Japan last year. Recently, she won the Saul and Sylvia Winstein Dissertation Award and also the Michael E. Jung Excellence in Teaching Award. She's also been a great organizer of help group activities. Thanks for that, Kat. This fall, she becomes an assistant professor at the University of Laverne, her alma mater. Congratulations on your many accomplishments and best success in the future. 
Jason, congratulations on the UCLA Chemist Association Dissertation Award in Materials Chemistry. We're very proud of you. Quite amazing for a physicist from Berkeley who went off to Singapore to learn about pollen, lipid bilayers, and immunology, and then came to the chemistry department at UCLA to work on high throughput cellular therapies. You've had a fantastic run here. Can't wait to see what's coming next. And oh, that acoustic device right in my ear. Congratulations again. It is my pleasure to be here virtually, at least, to award a doctoral degree in biochemistry to William Clifford Bulbridge. Getting a PhD is a great achievement in any circumstance, but after all the twists and turns your project, the lab, and the world took, I am so happy that you stuck with it and proud of all that you have accomplished. Now is the time to celebrate with your family and friends, and I'm excited to see what you do moving forward. Congratulations, Dr. Bulbridge. Michelle Bradley, congratulations on your PhD. Michelle is co-author of eight publications on our coenzyme Q research, and she won six awards, not only for her research, but also her teaching. She's a talented mentor and an inspiring recruiter of prospective graduate students. Every manuscript in my lab was sent to Michelle for her editing and suggestions. And I also want to congratulate Michelle on her upcoming job as scientific analyst at Morrison and Forster in Palo Alto. Congratulations. Kirsty Hotbed was an outstanding graduate student in my group for the last four years. An undergraduate at Berkeley, she became a master of computational chemistry in my group. In particular, she studied enzyme mechanisms using quantum mechanics and molecular dynamics. She has two publications so far and two more submitted. She was very active in the training of UCLA teaching assistants, part of the Aspire Alliance, and also a teaching assistant consultant. She was part of the NIH Biotechnology Training Grant and was a senior foot fellow. This fall, she'll be an instructor at Pasadena City College. Congratulations, Kirsty. Cheers to your graduation, Molly Costco. We've had so many first cheerses throughout the past five years. Manuscripts, grants, fellowships, presentations. I'm so proud of the scientist and communicator you've become. Thank you for everything over the years. You'll forever be Sletten Group PhD number one. I look forward to cheersing more of your accomplishments in the future from your postdoc at Stanford and beyond. Congratulations to Dr. Jacob Dander. During the course of his PhD studies, Jacob has developed a multitude of new reactions that rely on the use of nickel catalysis to convert anions into other functional groups. In addition, he has made awesome progress towards synthesizing a complex molecule called dodecahedron. Jacob, we've had so many awesome times together. You know, I'm going to miss so many things about you, but especially your sense of humor, your attention to detail, as well as your passion for writing and using very large vocabulary words. Jacob, I'm also so proud of how much you've grown during the course of your studies and all the amazing things you've done uh, as a scientist and everything that you've accomplished. I wish you all the best as you begin your journey into patent law. Congratulations, Dr. Jacob Dandy. I want to congratulate Dr. Jordan Dodson for earning an extremely well-deserved PhD degree. You should read his papers. While advancing the field of solid state photochemistry, Jordan solved a long standing puzzle when he synthesized a natural product that had been isolated but inadvertently missed. It's beautiful scholarly work. Congratulations, Jordan, and good luck in your future independent career. I would also like to add my congratulations to Dr. Jordan Dotson. Jordan, I'll admit I was a little skeptical about taking on a joint student midway through one's PhD. However, it's just been absolutely awesome to have you as part of the group. You've brought your physical, organic chemistry, love and insight to the lab, as well as your genuine passion for science and just an awesome sense of humor. We wish you the best of luck as you begin your postdoctoral studies with Matt Sigmund. Congratulations, Dr. Jordan Dotson. Congratulations to Christopher Tai Caraba on his PhD in materials physical chemistry. Tai is a unique scientist in that he is equally comfortable with the physics of magnetism and with the wet chemical synthesis of new materials, and his thesis reflects that breadth of scientific effort. In addition to his excellent science, Tai is also one of those people who's always willing to help other people, and his impact on the Talbert Research Group has been tremendous. 
He's a dedicated teacher and also has helped inspire countless people to get involved with science through his efforts in science outreach. Thank you, Ty, for everything you've done to impact so many people. Binson is my first graduate student, and we are a research lab of computational structure biology uh, from the Department of Neurology. And he was working to using cryo-EM method to determine atomic structure of alpha synuclein fiber, those aggregated amino proteins associated with Parkinson's disease. As the first author, he has a multiple publication in different journals, including uh, Nature Communication, Nature Molecular Structure Biology and uh, PNS. With this accomplishment, he was awarded with Dissertation Year Fellowship. Congratulations, uh, Yolanda. I'm so proud of you. Uh, you've done an amazing job with your thesis and all your work and how much you helped the whole group during all these years. I wish you an amazing start at Stanford at the Patent Office. Thank you again. Congratulations to Wei on completing your thesis, Add a Pinch of Salt, Effective Additives on the Development of New Nanomaterials. And so I brought along for you all the salts I could find. Here's a little iodinized salt, some coarse Mediterranean sea salt, and my favorite of all, Himalayan salt. So congratulations on a very well done thesis and on your Thomas and Ruth Jacobs dissertation award. And I guess it's time to move the tassel from one side of the hat to the other. Oh, wait. I think I was supposed to wear this one. Anyway, sorry I can't be there in person, but well done. I'm delighted to virtually hood Catherine Mancina today. When I think of Catherine, I think of three things. I think of how when she wanted to rotate in my group, I had a plan to take any more students that year. But when Catherine rotated, uh, she was performing at such a high level at the same level as my senior graduate students while taking quantum mechanics and also TA that I had to take her into the group and I'm really glad that I did. I, the second thing that I think about is that Catherine is very good at troubleshooting. Um, she brings expertise and ideas from different fields, is very good at looking at literature and drawing her own conclusions and bringing that to her own research to push it forward. And the third thing that I think about is her creativity. In fact, uh, we're working on a fairly large project um, having to do with regulating glucagon for people with type 1 diabetes. And that idea that is funded now was actually Catherine's idea. And so Catherine, uh, congratulations. I'm happy to virtually hood you. Uh, good luck at um, Genentech. And... Congratulations, Emily. I'm so happy for you. And I'm a little sad at the same time we can't do this in person. Uh, You've been a rock. Uh, you've been dedicated, uh, thoughtful, insightful. Uh, you tackled an incredibly difficult problem. You really never wavered, not a second. Uh, you're just a master at the bench. I've loved to watch you work, and I've enjoyed being your colleague. Uh, and you've been a great friend to all of us in the group. And so uh, today I'm wishing you the very, very best happiness and success. And I hope to see you again very soon. I'm delighted to virtually hood Pierre Panescu today. When I think of three, pre, I think of three things. The first thing is how courageous she is. When she started in my group, I had some ideas about how we could implement our chemistry into agriculture and sustainability, but I had not implemented those ideas. And Priyar took that and went off and running and adding her own ideas and started a whole new area within my group. The second thing that I think about is how good she is at combining different fields. So she takes polymer chemistry, herbicide, pesticide chemistry, and so on and combines them while never compromising her integrity as far as how it should make a difference to sustainability in the world. And the third thing I think about is how passionate she is about education. Priera has gone out of her way to help K through 12 students, um, girls and, and so on, uh, understand the importance of sustainability in our world and has done everything that she can to outreach to these students to teach them about STEM. And so congratulations, Priyara. I'm very happy for you. Good luck at your new position. And I'm happy to virtually hood you. Hi, I'm Joe Liu. I congratulate Neil Quebelman for his PhD work on developing new methods for studying proteins using mass spectrometry. He developed a technique for identifying proteins in complex mixtures and to probe the structures of proteins. But I will especially miss Neil for the avocados he would bring from his home in Riverside, the best I've ever had 
and it's liquid nitrogen ice cream with bacon and maple syrup. I could really use some right about now. Neil, good luck to you as you start your career in teaching. Keep in touch. This is a message for Ethan Rosser. Ethan, I wanted to congratulate you for your graduation. You have been a truly outstanding student and we will miss you very much here. In fact, it is very difficult to imagine our team without you. I really hope we can work together again in the not too distant future. Let's keep in touch. Good luck in your next endeavors. Congratulations, Andy Smaligo, for getting your PhD. Not just any PhD, but the one that I'm extremely proud of. Throughout your stay in my group, you have impressed me with your infectious enthusiasm for science and your impeccable work ethic and your dedication not only to your own research, but also to the group's well-being. Congrats on landing a job at Amgen as a medicinal chemist. I am so proud of you. Congratulations again, Andy. Congratulations to Dr. Robert Susick. Robert has been a key player in my lab for the last few years, developing annulation reactions. These are transformations that allow us to take relatively simple starting materials and then quickly convert them to much more complex molecules. This has allowed Robert to synthesize naturally occurring molecules with beautiful structures, in addition to a variety of compounds for materials and medical-based applications. Robert, you not only killed it with your science, but you also just brought so much positive energy into the lab, and we're all gonna miss this very much at home. So we wish you the best of luck as you begin your independent career as a medicinal chemist at Insight. And again, say congratulations to you. Dr. Robert Sussman. I'm happy to virtually hood Kyle Tamshin today. When I think of Kyle, I think of three things. The first thing that I think of is that Kyle is good at talking with and working with people from distinct fields. His first project had to do with uh, antiretroviral delivery to prevent HIV infection. And for this, he had to work with infectious disease doctors who specialize in HIV, as well as other chemists and people from life sciences. And he did that with ease. The second thing that I think about is his ability to collaborate. In fact, we have a collaboration with the University of Auckland and, and Kyle's been the point person for that and actually went with me to the University of Auckland in New Zealand to learn cell culture and so on. The third is that Kyle has been safety officer of the group for all these years and has done a fantastic job. Safety is very serious at UCLA and a very big job and he's done very well at it. And so Kyle, congratulations and good luck at Gilead at your next job. And I'm happy to hood you. Matthew Voss, I wanted to say congratulations on your well-earned PhD. Not only have you had to overcome significant administrative hurdles, but you've had to perform your PhD doing cutting edge experiments with the latest technical equipment on messy chemical samples. Even more importantly, you've had to do in-depth analysis and detailed modeling to extract the knowledge you've gained about the nature of the chemical doping of conjugated polymers. With all of it combined, you have truly earned your PhD. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dr. Chen Jiangwan. I cannot believe it's already five years. I have enjoyed working with you. Your research on nanoscale and single atom catalyst pushes the limits in electrocatalyst design. It will impact broadly from renewable chemical fuel generation to fuel cell development and contribute positively to our system in the future. I'm glad you will continue research in the group for a bit longer and uh, looking forward to continue working with you and doing good things together. Congrats again. Congratulations, Charles Wang, for graduating and for obtaining your PhD. And your work in the lab has been awesome. Uh, really the demonstration of the awesome power of uh, yeast genetics. I'm very proud of your accomplishment and all the work you've done and also for your ability to train uh, all the generation the next generation of students in the Chanfro lab. Congrats, Charles, and good luck with your in your future. Devin Widmer, congratulations on your PhD. It's been a long road from the switch you made from being an experimentalist to being a theorist, but in the end, you've produced a terrific thesis. You've been able to show by using simulations that what we think we know about molecules when they're by themselves in the gas phase is in fact not at all true when the molecules are put into solution and their chemical identity undergoes a change. All the papers you've put together have formed a beautiful body of work exploring this phenomenon and your PhD is well deserved. Congratulations again. Congratulations to KJ Winchell on her PhD in materials physical chemistry. 
KJ has accomplished a huge amount during her time at UCLA, both in terms of teaching and in research. Her thesis research is focused on uh, developing new applications of conducting plastic materials. In terms of teaching, she's touched the lives of a huge number of UCLA students, both as a TA and in her own class where she was the instructor. She's also impacted a large number of students in the greater LA area through her work with Science Outreach. KJ, it's been a true pleasure working with you during your time at UCLA. Dr. Michael Yamana, what an absolute pleasure it's been uh, for me to work with you for the last five years. What Michael has done in the research laboratory is to focus on a class of unusual strained intermediates that we call cyclic amines. For decades prior to this, chemists thought that these types of unusual intermediates were basically too reactive to be useful um, for any practical purposes. And Michael has really shown very much otherwise. And I just want to say to Michael uh, how much we, and uh, especially me, we're just going to miss you tremendously uh, here in the lab. We're going to miss your quick wit, your sense of humor, your stereo, and um, you know all the fun and enthusiasm and excitement you've brought to science for the last few years. I also want to wish you the best of luck as you begin your own journey as a medicinal chemist at Amgen. So congratulations to you, Dr. Michael Yamana. Chuanjin, congratulations on the well-deserved Thomas and Ruth F. Jacobs Dissertation Award. From when we first met you as a summer undergraduate, when you met your future wife and collaborator Tian Xing through today and as you finish up all the work that you've started here, we've seen your creativity, intensity, intelligence, productivity, and most of all heart. This will take you very far and we can't wait to see where. Congratulations again. I am Miguel Garcia Garibay, a professor of chemistry and the Dean of Physical Sciences at UCLA. To the class of 2020, we are very proud of all you have accomplished. We commend you for your hard work, your resilience, and your countless accomplishments during your time at UCLA. To the families and friends, thank you so much for being there for your graduates. We look forward to the chance to honor you in person. Until then, please accept my congratulations to you, the class of 2020.